Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. Today I am reviewing probably the best value Rolex Daytona homage there is on the market at the moment. And I know that's a big claim because we've seen quite a few of them. However, this one comes with an automatic chronograph movement. It's got the ceramic bezel, the sapphire crystal, screw down pushers, all the good stuff. But it only costs just over £300. Yes, an automatic chronograph, automatic, not mechanical, for £300. Where did I find this beauty? Well, I didn't. I've actually been sent this by another reviewer. His name is Z. He runs the Watcher channel. I'm sure you've already seen it. He's way more popular than I am, of course. I mean, his accent isn't nearly as good. However, I guess his content must be. As well as that, we know that I run the best online watch store off the back of a youth channel. However, for argument's sake, Z has a pretty good one too. You should check that out. He hasn't asked me to plug that at all. I just think that his mods that he's been doing recently are pretty, pretty nice. So give that a look. Check out his Instagram too. He posts them all there. Now, if you wanted to pick up one of these watches, I have an affiliate link in the description that will take you to the Suggest official store. Last time I checked, these were £312. Obviously, adding any of the fees that apply to your region. Now, let me turn this camera around and let me introduce you to the best Daytona homage that I have seen to date. You may not have already spotted this watch on the AliExpress market. It is from Suggest, and they are not exactly the best at pushing their models in advertising etc etc like Pagani Designer or Sam Martin however they make some incredible pieces and this one may be the best yet it is their homage to the Rolex Daytona and it is available in of course this reverse panda dial and the actual panda dial itself I genuinely believe that this could be one of the best watches on the AliExpress market for the price that it is offered at. You could pick this up for around £310. Now, that does depend on which store you use, your region, and obviously taxes, etc. etc. But this quality of watch for that price is just incredible to me. And it's the reason that I feature AliExpress pieces as much as I do, because I love the fact that you can pick something like this up. That makes you feel the way that this watch has made me feel for such a price that is affordable to nearly everyone. So, let me get into the review of this piece. It is a 40mm diameter watch. It is 13.9mm thick. That includes the bezel, sapphire and case back. 46.7mm lug to lug. And it is 20mm lugs on this piece. Now, obviously, it is in that Rolex Daytona style. We have the double pushers over to the side here. These are screw-down pushers, and they activate the chronograph hand, as you would obviously expect. Let's just give that a little click. And the click back. I'm just going to screw these back in. Obviously, the screws on the pushers are to aid in the water resistance of this watch as well as the screw down pushers in between these very effective crown guards here we have a screw down crown let's just undo this now this movement is a hacking and hand winding movement i will get into it slightly more in a second it is not a common movement it is actually Chinese. It, from what I can gather, it is a clone of the 7750, a chronograph movement that is pretty much a legend in Swiss watchmaking now. This is actually the Dandong 7750. It's their clone to the Eta. Now, obviously, Chinese movements, a lot of people aren't as keen on Chinese movements. However, the quality that you actually get in a Chinese movement now, I feel... A, a lot more confidence than I ever have in them. And one really impressive part of this movement is that this is a 12 hour chronograph, which I mean, I don't know what you're timing for 12 hours, but it's a good level to have, I guess. 
As we move to the case back, it is a very simple screw down case back with lineal brushing through the center. It is that Rolex style case back that we are very used to. We have high polish around the casing. It is, as you would expect, 316L stainless steel. And to finish off this crown, we have the Suges S in the center. Really good levels of grip to the crown and the screw down pushes make it really easy to use those. The bezel on this piece is really what sets off that Daytona-esque style, isn't it? For, for me, the bezel is anyway. This is a ceramic bezel that surrounds this dial here. We have the usual tachometer display on there. It is very clear, the white on the black bezel. The way that it reflects the light is very, very premium to me. I think that this really does set off the watch. The print or the engraving to the actual markings is actually really crisp and really clear also, which is a big win for Suges. We have a sapphire crystal in this piece and it is a flat yet tabletop sapphire crystal. It does protrude the casing or the bezel itself. Now the casing, screw down pushers, screw down crown, screw down case back provides this piece with 100 meters of water resistance. For a chronograph, I think that's perfectly acceptable. And honestly, that's the type of level where you start to leave a brand alone when it is this type of style anyway. If it's not a diver and it's got 100 meters, that's perfectly, perfectly sufficient for that watch. Now, as we move into the dial itself, it has a really premium enamel effect black dial on this piece. And the way that it reflects the light along with that bezel, I think it is given a really, really high-end type of feel to this piece. And for £300, £310, £320, I think that's a really lovely effect to have to the watch itself. I will include some closer looks at it and different angles of lighting so you can see how nice this dial actually reflects the light. We have applied indices throughout the dial. They are at the hour markers. They are in that Daytona type of style. The uh, squares with the triangle points at the edge. Stainless steel effect outer edges with a loom center. A very measurement centric minute track surrounds the outer edge of the dial in white. Again, very legible, very easy to see. Up at 12 o'clock, we have the Suggest print. No logo for this one. I'm, I'm pretty sure Suggest don't actually have a logo. Anyway, followed by automatic top chronometer. Now, Personally, I would have probably missed that last line of text, top chronometer. I don't think this can be classed as a chronometer, can it? But I understand why they've inserted those other two levels of text, and that's to give that Rolex effect, the extra levels of text, the extra lines of text on the dials that you usually see. Over to the left-hand side here, we have the 12-hour chronograph display now over to the left we have the 30 minute chronograph display there obviously that passes through twice goes one passes through twice again goes two etc etc and down at the six o'clock we have the sweeping second hand a sweeping second hand on a chronograph is something that i absolutely adore it it gives that level of premium luxury type of pieces i know that this isn't luxury please do forgive me for that you Rolex fanboys out there will absolutely have my head, but it does give that luxury type of feel to a watch for me. The handset is also in the same style as the Daytona. It is a straight, simple handset with a strike through the center of the minute and hour hand. Loomed in the center, also stainless steel outer edge and this arrowhead chronograph hand. Now let me get the lights out and let's have a look at the loom shot on this one. Really for £320 on AliExpress, you do definitely want to have a solid loom shot. Okay, so here we have the loom on the Daytona homage. Now, it's well applied, well spread, and there's no patchiness that I can spot. However, it's just not as bright as I would have liked it to be. I understand that it's not a diver, it's not something that we expect to be nuclear at all. However, it would have been nice to be brighter. Uh, it's lasting okay. It's, it's just slightly dull and it really does kind of lower the tone. For me, it kind of lets me down a little bit, especially when we consider that this is post 300 pounds on the market. So 
I'd have, yeah, I'd have liked to see better on here. Now as we move away from the head of the piece and we move towards the bracelet, you can see that is the classic oyster style bracelet. It has a really lovely level of taper to it. We have a high polish center and a brushed side on this one, brushed either side. Now we see these oyster style bracelets on plenty of pieces. However, I do feel like Suggest have really nailed this one. They've definitely come with the quality on here. No rattle to report. Uh, screw links, very nice level of brushing and polish, and obviously the Rolex style clasp that we are all used to. Folds out, nicely machined on the inside, and we have that sneaky little dive extension over to the side here. This bracelet is actually quite comfortable on wrist, as is the watch itself. Let me just get it on wrist now and show you how it looks on my six and a quarter inch wrists. Now I do have two more links that I could remove on here, which gives you an idea of how wide the uh, adjustability on this piece is. Now, as I say, really comfortable on wrist, very nice wear day to day. I wouldn't wear it on a daily basis. I wouldn't bash it about. It is all high polish, which means I will wear quicker than your brushed pieces however it is comfortable as hell and it is quite noticeable on this also a lot of people do know this Daytona type of style and they do uh, point it out quite a bit I have had a few people in work point it out to me uh, and actually comment on how nice it looks in person so that's definitely always a win now, I do have a couple of moans for this watch, and all of these moans are definitely because this watch is post £300. So, it is playing with the big boys here, and we have to treat it as so. Now, high polish, yes, that is the Daytona style, but it is going to ding up quickly. So, be aware of that. You're going to want to uh, have a backup for the polishing on this one. The movement itself. People are going to moan about it being a Chinese movement. However, I don't see how you can do this at this price without it being a Chinese movement. Uh, it does have a rotor noise to it. Like, you can definitely tell that it's automatic, put it that way. However, at this price, I can't complain as much with it being an automatic chronograph. Now, if it was a simple automatic piece, freehander, then yes, this would be too much noise. But with it being the chronograph, I'm, I'm kind of going to let it slide a little bit. Finally, for over £300, it would have kind of been nice to have the glide style clasp on this one. I have seen cheaper brands do it and therefore I know that it's possible and definitely would have give you that full luxury type of feel. Another thing to point out, I'm not the biggest fan of the print at the 12 o'clock without a logo. I, yeah, I'd like to see a logo there. I think that it would finish off that uh, effect and as well as i've they did insert a logo they could take away that top chronometer which doesn't apply to this piece so kind of throws it off a little bit and definitely will be a gripe for a lot of people now with those moans out of the way and as i say they are definitely just because it is at the type of price range that it is it's a beautiful beautiful watch and it's definitely the best daytona homage that i have had in for review Obviously, it is the most expensive Daytona homage that I've had in for review also. Obviously, a automatic chronograph is always going to hit the bank balance. However, the Chinese doing it, it's going to feel a little bit nicer when you look at your statement the next day. I promise you that. If you wanted to pick this up, then I do have a link in the description. That is an affiliate link, and I would appreciate you using it because it does help the channel a great deal. Now, if you did happen to pick this up, which variant would you go for? The black or the white dial? Personally, if it was me, I think I'd be going for the white. Let me know what you'd do in the comments. There we have it, guys. Not your average AliExpress review. This watch obviously is priced above the usual AliExpress market. However, for the quality that you get in the case and the quality that you get in the movements, I know it's Chinese, but it's still a 77 50 clone and it is still an automatic chronograph it's a lot of value to be fair 
and the quality is undeniable. There's obviously a couple of little moans and niggles in there, however, there's going to be at this price. If you wanted to pick one up, I have the link in the description to the Suggest official store. Thank you again to Z for sending this over. Make sure you check out his channel and his Instagram and his online store. Thank you for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, and I will hopefully see you in the next one.